The previous video clip dealt with the four things that can happen to solar radiation as it travels through the Earth's atmosphere. Those concepts are very important, and we're going to use them here to describe the greenhouse effect. First, I'm going to start by simply reading the caption from Figure 4.13 in your textbook. It does a good job of explaining the basics of the greenhouse effect. It says, the atmosphere easily transmits shortwave radiation from the sun, but is a poor transmitter of outgoing longwave radiation emitted by the Earth's surface. This differential transmission of shortwave and longwave radiation causes the greenhouse effect in the atmosphere. Notably, this greenhouse effect is a natural process that is important for heating the troposphere. Even without humans on the planet, the greenhouse effect would be working to heat the troposphere. Indeed, without the greenhouse effect, life would not exist, at least not as we know it, as the average Earth temperature would be well below freezing, likely around 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's walk through step by step how the greenhouse effect works to warm our atmosphere. First, the Earth's troposphere transmits shortwave radiation, that's visible light from the sun. This shortwave radiation is absorbed by the Earth and re-emitted as longwave radiation, i.e. thermal infrared. The troposphere does not transmit longwave radiation nearly as well. In fact, there are several greenhouse gases water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide in the troposphere that are very good at absorbing and re-emitting longwave radiation. In this manner, some of the longwave radiation is not able to escape the troposphere, and the troposphere heats up. You should be able to talk your way through this process and also identify major greenhouse gases. You should be able to talk your way through this process and also list the major greenhouse gases, and give sources for each. Anthropogenic sources, human-generated sources, especially for these three here, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide, are probably the three most important greenhouse gases that humans have dramatically increased in the troposphere. So, as we just noted, the greenhouse effect is a natural process. However, the problem is that humans are adding extra greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which result in more heat retention and rising tropospheric temperatures. Sometimes this process is referred to as the enhanced greenhouse effect because it is essentially extra warming caused by the addition of anthropogenic, human-generated, greenhouse gases. The addition of these extra anthropogenic greenhouse gases is the cause of global warming. Notably, the more appropriate term for global warming is climate change, as this general term is able to encompass the many diverse effects we expect to see result from the warmer tropospheric temperatures. For example, some regions, Europe notably, will actually get cooler. We will discuss climate change in more detail when we cover climate in a few weeks. Lastly, and very importantly, don't mix up ozone depletion that we covered in chapter three and climate change, which we're introducing now. They are very different phenomena and they're not related in the way that many people think. Also, ozone depletion is a stratospheric phenomena, whereas climate change is a tropospheric phenomena. Importantly, ozone depletion does not cause global warming or climate change. This is important. You should say this aloud to yourself. Ozone depletion does not cause climate change. Many students incorrectly assume that additional ultraviolet radiation that gets through because of ozone depletion is what causes the troposphere to warm. This is not true. The additional ultraviolet radiation can harm us. For example, we can get skin cancer, cataracts, etc. And it can harm photosynthetic organisms. But this small addition of UV radiation does not impact global temperatures. 
Rather, the increased tropospheric temperatures, global warming, result from heat not being able to escape due to an increase in heat-absorbing greenhouse gases. And the largest percentage of these anthropogenic greenhouse gases are due to the burning of fossil fuels. Thus, global warming, also known as climate change, is caused by the anthropogenic greenhouse gases, the human-generated greenhouse gases that are being emitted into the atmosphere, primarily due to our burning of fossil fuels.